You have a kid, don't you? You do? I know you do. So... So you don't have to hide it. You have a kid. What's its name? Is it Harry? It is Harry. Well, I know it is. You know how I know this? It's because once when we left work, I was walking behind you and you walked all the way down the road and I could see you in front of me. And I saw you meet this woman in a coffee shop. It wasn't a nice coffee shop. I was surprised you went into it. It was a Costa or something. Not even a good one, a shit Costa. And I watched you meet this woman. And she had this toddling thing. And I waited and watched you go to the loo and then I ran in and I said, oh, I was hoping to catch you. And I had a little chat with Marion, is that her name, your ex? She told me about Harry and I said I was a colleague and you were taking ages in the toilet. Actually, we talked about it. I didn't know what you were up to in there. But it meant we had a good talk about you. And in the end, when you still didn't come out, I said I needed to dash and that I'd catch you tomorrow instead. <laughs> But that conversation with her gave me quite a lot of crucial information, which I've always known whenever you've tried to lie or hide things or whatever. I've always known about your life, things that you don't know, I know. I know how you have to pay Marion that certain amount every month. Oh, when she hears you're out of work, her low estimation of you will drop even further. It will, I promise. She won't be surprised. That's the really tragic thing for you. She won't be like, oh my God, You've lost your job. Oh my God. She'll be like, yeah. Of course he's lost his fucking job. Good thing I got out while I could. Better not let him see Harry too much. Don't want Harry growing up in the distorted image of his fucking drip of a father. Hmm. I expect that's what she'll think. Oh, it's tough, isn't it? Life. Is it much more difficult than you imagined it would be? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you thought it was difficult, but that with hard work and practice and training and long hours and inspiration <laughs> and in your case, perspiration, would come through in the end and succeed <laughs> because you thought that despite everything it was in this country at least a meritocracy and that fair play and honest transparent behavior at work would be rewarded in the end and that bad people like me would fall at the wayside. And good people like you would triumph. It's 
what you thought, isn't it? Oops. <laughs>